Have you ever imagined how awesome it would be to see King Caesar appearing in the Monsterverse, or Gamera, or even Anguirus? In this video, I've compiled 9 kaiju that we want to see in the Monsterverse, so stick with me until the end of the video because I want to know if you agree with all the titans on this list. Welcome to Nerds Insights, your daily channel for nerdy information, so hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and don't miss out. We have nerdy updates every day, and it's essential that you're subscribed with notifications enabled so you don't miss a thing. You're perfect. My friend thank you always. The 9 kaiju I'm going to mention in this list are titans that I see you, the channel viewers, and the entire community have been talking about. It also reflects a bit of my personal taste. So, if anyone is missing from this list, please comment below and let me know who it is and I'll consider making a part 2 of this video, let's start with the most requested one, King Caesar. Of all the kaiju on this list, I believe King Caesar is the most beloved and the one people most want to see on the big screen, King Caesar is a god kaiju who first appeared in Toho's 1974 film Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, in his debut. King Caesar is portrayed as a guardian deity and protector of an ancient family that was awakened from a dormant state, in the movie. King Caesar joins forces with Godzilla to defeat Mechagodzilla. Some theories suggest that King Caesar's bones appeared in the teaser of Godzilla x Kong the New Empire, but I couldn't confirm it. Gamera This is another kaiju that fans beg to see in the Monsterverse. Gamera is a giant flying turtle that first appeared in the 1965-day film Gamera the Giant Monster. In his first appearance, Gamera was an ancient creature disturbed from his rest beneath the Arctic ice by a nuclear explosion. Gamera made his way to Japan and rampaged through the country but was trapped inside a rocket and launched into space on a one-way trip to Mars. In the following film, Gamera returned to Earth, where he fought the monster Baragon. This established Gamera as the lesser of two evils compared to other monsters that frequently threaten Japan. He also developed a strong bond with the Earth's children, coming to their aid whenever they were in danger from other monsters or alien invaders. Eventually, Gamera was seen as a genuine hero and friend to children worldwide, rather than a furious monster. I find it fascinating that Gamera is a protector of the Earth, which fits perfectly with a turtle. Anguirus Anguirus bones already appeared in Godzilla King of the Monsters, but everyone still wants to see him on the big screen, even if it's in a flashback from the Titan's War, perhaps. Anguirus was Godzilla's first opponent and fought him to the death in Godzilla raids again. Godzilla ended up killing Anguirus. However, Anguirus became a friend and ally of Godzilla, fighting faithfully by his side to repel alien monsters like King Ghidorah and Gigan. More recently, Anguirus appeared as a skeletal carcass in the prologue of Godzilla Planet of the Monsters and as an enemy fought by Jet Jaguar in the anime series Godzilla Singular Point, along with numerous other appearances in video games and comics. Although not as popular as Rodden, Mothra, or King Ghidorah, Anguirus has become a popular monster in his own right, earning a reputation as Godzilla's closest friend and a very formidable fighter. Some theories speculate that Shurma would be our version of Anguirus, but to me, that doesn't make much sense. Space Godzilla Space Godzilla is Godzilla's penultimate enemy in the Heisei film series and the only extraterrestrial creature introduced in that series, with a variety of psychic powers and energy attacks as well as the ability to form and use crystals in various ways, Space Godzilla poses a challenging opponent and could potentially shape the direction of battles involving him, created from some of Godzilla's cells that were launched into outer space, Space Godzilla made his way to Earth with the aim of conquering the planet and eliminating his terrestrial counterpart, Space Godzilla was considered the next big villain for the Monsterverse, but having Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, and then Space Godzilla could be overwhelming, in my opinion, However, there's still a chance for him to appear, and many channels are theorizing that he might be in Godzilla x Kong the New Empire, I doubt that will happen, but the argument they are using is that Shermu is actually Space Godzilla, speaking of Shermu. Shermu. It's already confirmed that Shermu will appear in Godzilla x Kong the New Empire, and the hype for Shermu is immense, he's leading in Monsterverse-related polls, unfortunately, we don't have confirmed details about his origin and powers yet but there's a leaked script from a test screening suggesting that Shermu is a kaiju that came from space, when he collided with the Hollow Earth, he released his energy, thus creating life in the Hollow Earth and giving rise to other creatures, he would be the father of the kaiju, supposedly possessing ice powers so strong that it caused the beginning of the Ice Age on Earth, but he ended up freezing along with it, I made a video explaining Shermu's entire origin if you want to check it out later. Scar King 
If the hype for Shirmu is significant, the excitement for Scar King is no less. He promises to be the main villain of the film and his intriguing Monsterverse fans, who are eager to learn more about him and his powers. Along with Shirmu, Scar King is a completely new kaiju and has never appeared in any other work before, giving us no prior basis to go on. However, based on the teaser and the alleged leaked script, Scar King was the cause of the Titan War and possibly possesses the power of speech. We theorized a lot about him on this channel, so check out the cards above, where I already discussed Scar King's plans, origin, and powers. Quetzalcoatl. According to KDM, a reliable source of information, Quetzalcoatl already exists in the Monsterverse and is confirmed to appear in upcoming legendary projects, possibly in the Monarch Legacy of Monster series. According to KDM, Quetzalcoatl will be represented as a magnificent giant bird, almost like a true deity. I say this because Quetzalcoatl is an Aztec or Mesoamerican deity, something like that. I can't wait to see this on the big screen. They say it will be even more beautiful than Mothra herself, but we'll have to wait and see. Destoroya. This one is from the old Toho Kaiju lineup. Destoroya is the incarnation of the Oxygen Destroyer, the chemical weapon used to kill the original Godzilla in 1954. When the weapon was detonated at the bottom of Tokyo Bay, it revived a colony of Precambrian crustaceans trapped in the strata, and the resulting anaerobic conditions caused the creatures to undergo an abnormal path of mutation and evolution until they finally surfaced in 1996, capable of growing and evolving by merging with each other. The creatures assumed various different forms before ultimately converging into one giant demonic monster, Destoroya. Destoroya fought Godzilla at the peak of his power and almost defeated him, so, seeing this guy in the Monsterverse would be great, Sekhmet. This is more of a personal preference for me, Titanus Sekhmet is a giant lion-like kaiju created by Legendary that appears in Legendary's 2019 film, Godzilla 2 King of the Monsters, as an ancient sculpture and later as a name briefly seen on a monitor. It's already confirmed that there will be a fight in the Egyptian pyramids in Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. There's even a leaked photo of Kong facing Shermu on top of one of those pyramids. Sekhmet is a kaiju that remains dormant and is those ancient Egyptian sphinxes, seeing him awaken in the middle of the battle and get involved in the fight because everyone is disturbing his sleep would be very, very cool, even funny. But now, is anyone else missing from the list? Comment below who else you would like to see in the Monsterverse. It could be a kaiju that hasn't appeared yet or even in a flashback. Because then you can make a part 2 of this video, and I really do. And while you're down there, remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so I can keep you informed daily about the Monsterverse and general news from the nerd world. Your like is also very welcome, take care, and until next time. And for those who made it this far, I really just have to thank you. This is my first experience with YouTube and it's been fantastic. As you can imagine, I use an AI generated voice so the pronunciation isn't perfect and it doesn't react very well to semicolons. But I'm doing my best to make this channel as professional as possible and I'll hire a narrator soon. Now yes, take care and see you next time.